These are tiger beetles. They're the fastest beetles that can be found all over the world and can come in a myriad of colors. They're incredible hunters that sprint to their prey and pounce with scarily efficient success. But during a hunt, you'll notice that these beetles will suddenly stop and that's because they're going so fast that they're temporarily blinded by motion blur. So they must stop to reorient themselves and see where the prey is, but how fast are they going to have that problem? Now, I'm currently jogging at 9 kilometers per hour, which doesn't look too flattering for me, but this is the speed at which the tiger beetle goes. But to put it into other terms, this beetle is able to run its body length 125 times per second. Now, I'm exactly 6 foot or 183 centimeters, believe it or not, which would mean if I was as fast as this beetle, I'd easily shatter world records and run around 800 kilometers per hour. To put it visually, this is me sprinting 100 meters. Wow, I'm out of shape. And this would be what it'd look like if I was a tiger beetle. Jesus Christ. Research into these beetles began in the 1700s, which makes them one of the best studied insects and in the past 50 years, they've become model organisms for competition and niche partitioning, insect physiology, and especially insect vision, as they have the best stereoscopic vision amongst terrestrial species. Although they're lauded for their top tier vision, these beetles have many more sensory mechanisms up their elytra, not literally, which make them even more interesting. At the time, it was thought that these beetles relied mostly on their vision to hunt, but there are plenty of nocturnal tiger beetles that hunt in low light environments, and scientists wondered if its diurnal relatives, when forced, could also hunt in these dark conditions. So they placed a bunch of daytime hunters in a pitch black box with flies, and despite their skepticism, these beetles were able to hunt in complete darkness. But that wasn't the only shocking discovery, as the study also found that those without antenna were the least successful. However, there's so much more to test because there were plenty of limitations to the study such as testing in a small room with a high amount of prey. If you placed me in a small dark room full of donuts, trust me, I will accidentally discover and eat all of it. But nevertheless, it introduced the community that they might not solely rely on vision. The next big question for this beetle was that if they became blinded by their own speed, how do they avoid tripping or slamming into obstacles? Well, in a study done at Cornell, these researchers sought to seek that very answer. Antennae may serve a wide range of purposes, but they're typically sensory organs and depending on the species, it can specialize in touch, heat reception, smell, taste, etc. For this experiment, researchers placed the beetles in a straight track with a single obstacle in the way. Of course, all good studies start with a control, a normal able tiger beetle, but their experimental group had their antennae clipped off. The controlled beetle easily scales the hurdle, but the poor beetle without their antennae Man, that's gotta hurt at that speed. There was another experimental group that had the antennae, but their eyes were painted over so they couldn't see and that one was able to easily scale the obstacle like the control. So from this experiment, it seems that the antennae has a crucial role in detecting the environment, even at the blistering speeds this beetle vroom vrooms. Plenty of insects use their antennae as mechanosensors, but they usually sweep it around themselves. Tiger beetles, when casually moving around, would do the same motion, except much smaller because of the length of the antennae. But when the tiger beetles are in predation mode, they rigidly hold their antennae in front of them as they zip across the terrain to their prey. If the antenna comes into contact with something, then they know to make a screeching stop, which is honestly equally impressive. It's like when you put out your arms when you're walking in the dark, except you're sprinting. Although these beetles may be one of the best studied insects in the world, we're still discovering quirks about them and their physiology. So if you want to be kept up to date or learn more about beetles, make sure to subscribe and put notifications on for future videos. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.